In this video, I'm going to show you how to create advanced custom post types in your WordPress site. Now, you may have seen these before in the shape of listings for real estate themes or events pages for an event type theme. What they basically are is a different type of page or post that is very specific in what it delivers and it's organized separately on the front end with its own custom taxonomies, meaning its own custom tags. And you can add extra functionality to these using the advanced custom fields plugin, which we're not going to get into in this video. That'll be the next video. In this one, we're doing the custom post types to create that custom type of page. And we're going to use advanced custom fields later on to customize the content that goes into that page. And I will see you in both of those videos. We're getting started on the first one right now. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. It's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab, where we help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your clients, and for your business. If you haven't done so yet, hit subscribe, then hit the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything. And with that out of the way, let's head in the screen capture and create these custom post types. I'll see you there. First thing we have to do to get rolling with custom post types is install a plugin. And it's called the Custom Post Type UI plugin. And we're going to head over to plugins right now and then click on add new and type in custom post type or custom post type UI, it'll show up for both. And it's this first one on the top left right here, 400K installs, great reviews, compatible with the current version. So it's all good. Click on install now to install it and then activate. So now it's activated and what has happened is it's added a custom post type UI link at the bottom here. UI is short for user interface, in case you're interested. And there isn't too much you can do in here, so we're gonna do all of it, and then you pick what you need or do all of it as well. So to add a new custom post type, just hover over CPT UI, click on Add Edit Post Types. Then we put in the slug for the post type. So the example I'm gonna create in my case is Movie Listings. And as you saw, I put a capital M, but it automatically shrinks it down to a lowercase because slugs are all lowercase. And this will actually be the piece that appears up in the URL. So when you have this custom post type, it's going to be your domain name forward slash whatever you enter here. And then the permalink for that post under the custom post type. So this will be in the URL, whatever you have written here. This next field defines how this custom post type is described in menus and links and things like that in the admin area. So what is the plural of this post type? Movies just like the example they have, and then movie for the singular. And then that is the minimum you have to do. You can add a post type there. And if we do, it's gonna do that right now. I'll pop into the new post type that's been created and I'll show you what it looks like. We just added the movies menu item right here. This is an example of where the plural is used. If we go to edit post types, and then there's a drop down here. Let's just select which one. So movies is the only one we have. But if this was movies AB for the plural, we save that. That's going to change this to movies AB, this to movies AB. So wherever this is referenced as plural, you're going to have whatever you enter in this field. And then singular is the field below. This wanted to give you some examples for that. Anyway, we have this custom post type added right here. If we go to add new, so in the editor here, we have a title box, description or text or content box, featured image and the regular published type stuff. The slug will appear as we type in stuff but we don't have any of the settings that are down below, which are usually under the screen options. You can usually find them here, but by default, you can't. To add those in, we head back to CPT UI, go to add edit post types. Then we'll go through the rest of the settings for this post type as well, or any post type you create. If we go down, the next section is additional labels. And this is where we enter more labels and it's very descriptive. So the menu name, for example, is my movies. All items is all movies. All items appears right here under all movies. So whatever you enter in this field is going to change this entry. The point is these are just changes to the text labels in the back end, not functional changes. You don't have to do any of these changes either. It's up to you. Moving down to the settings. This is where the magic happens, so to speak. A lot of these you don't have to touch and they're quite in depth. If you're a developer, you might be interested in them, but most people aren't. So I'm just gonna gloss over all the API type stuff. And if we go down to where we have the supports area, we're able to check what stuff should appear in the editor. So as we just saw, we had the title, the editor where you put in the text in the featured image box. But we can also check all of these, which you find on regular post editors, and all those can be added in. 
which is pretty cool. You can also check none and then none will be added in. And then what you'll be relying on is using the advanced custom fields plugin or a similar plugin to add fields to that post type, which we will also do in a later video, just not in this one. And the menu icon is easily changed. So here we have a pin and we can easily change the menu icon by using a dash icon class or an image URL. And the image has to be 20 by 20. If you put an image that's bigger, it will it'll render a full size and it'll look weird and probably break stuff. So the image has to be 20 by 20. I like to use the dash icons because they're the easiest. So we can just head over, I'm just gonna Google it because I don't know it off by heart, but if you type in WordPress dash icons, I'm gonna add this link to the bottom to, in the description as well. But the dash icons look like this and they're from the WordPress dashboard. All these icons are customarily used. This play button looks pretty good for a video. So we have a class name right here. If we copy this class name, paste it in here. And when I save, I'm just gonna check all these as well just so you can see the change inside the editor. I'm gonna go check it out. So we're gonna save this and watch this pin right here change to a play button. Now it's a play button. Not so easy that is. And down at the very bottom, we're going right to the very bottom of the page again. Built-in taxonomies, which allows you to organize things. You can use the ones that are built into WordPress or we can create our own, which we're going to in just a second using the add edit taxonomies. But first, we added all these other features to the editor. If we go and check out what that looks like, it's gonna look very familiar, like a regular WordPress editor. So this is an editor just like any other WordPress page. And for a lot of people, this is all they need for the custom post type. They don't wanna have any super advanced fields or anything. All they need is the title, the content. They just wanna publish it and it fits into the theme. And it's great, it's another way to organize their content. But for people who want more, you're gonna to have to look into advanced custom fields or something similar, which we're gonna do in the next video in this series. Now we're gonna add a custom taxonomy. We're going to the CPT UI and going add edit taxonomies. Then we have to add a slug for the taxonomy. I'm gonna call it genre and plural. This is genre, singular is genre. And we wanna associate this with the movie post type. So we click on add taxonomy to add that in there. And now if we go to edit taxonomies, we can see our taxonomy genre is here. We can update the labels just like we did before. If you want to, again, that's optional. The settings also very similar to before. The one thing, big thing that's missing is that checkbox where you can add in different parts of the WordPress editor because that doesn't apply to taxonomies. But now when we hover over movies, we see we have this genre link that's been added. If we click on that, this should also look familiar because it looks a lot like under posts, the categories and tags taxonomies. This is gonna be one specific to movies. So we can have, uh, for the genres, have comedy, the slug be comedy, add that as a new genre, and then maybe action, and action and you can add whatever's appropriate for your custom post type now if we go to add new we now again have the familiar editor but we can add a genre and it adds them in a way similar to tags so we would type in comedy and click on add and that adds the comedy genre you can choose from the most used if there are any no tags found because we haven't used any yet using this feature is how we add our custom taxonomies and use that to sort our content if we want to. And if we do a little test post, so comedy movie, just gonna call it that, make the description the same thing. Click on publish. We see our slug created. And like I said at the very beginning, the word movie is in that slug. And that is the word that we chose to put in that very first field when we created our taxonomy. If we go and view this page, it plops it into our regular template for the website. It would have all the content down here just as you would a regular post and just be categorized under movies with the ability to add genres and other custom taxonomies. And you can have as many of these custom post types as you want. So you might have one for movies, you might have one for TV shows, you might have one for theater plays, whatever your topic is, I'm sure you can think of a bunch, but you also don't wanna to have too many because then things get disorganized. So you wanna have a solid set, I would say less than five, five is even a lot, custom post types for your site. Unless you're a major news outlet 
or you create just hordes of content, in which case you might want to have many more ways to be able to organize your content. Just choose the method that's appropriate to you, but think of being able to manage the system once it's built. The easier it is to manage, the better your life will be. In the next video, we're going to use the Advanced Custom Fields plugin to add custom fields to this page. In fact, we're going to get rid of everything in the page except for the title and the page attributes, and we're going to create everything else as an advanced custom field. And we're getting into that next video. This one's just custom post types. And like I said, many people might find this completely sufficient. This is exactly what they want. If you want to customize it further, the next video is for you. So that's how we create custom post types in WordPress. And like I said, in a later video, we're going to use advanced custom fields to add functionality to those custom post types. Either way, I hope this video helps you. If you haven't done so yet, hit subscribe and hit the bell notification icon so you're notified when I publish more tutorials for you. And next up is clicking one of these videos that popped up on the right hand side so you can keep learning more about WordPress. And until next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.